let's take a look at a key case in tort law for negligence. This case is Nettleship v Western, which was heard in 1971. In this case, the claimant was Mr Nettleship, a friend of the defendant, Mrs Western. Mr Nettleship had agreed to teach Mrs Western how to drive in her husband's car. On her third driving lesson, she hit a lamppost, which resulted in injury to Mr Nettleship. He sought a claim in negligence against her. Mrs Weston argued that Mr Nettleship was aware of her lack of skill with her being a learner driver and therefore she should not be expected to drive as a qualified experienced driver. The courts held that Mrs Weston had breached her duty of care towards Mr Nettleship and was liable for his injuries. The court held that the standard of care expected of the reasonable man would not be lowered because the defendant was a learner and that the civil law permits no such excuse. Lord Denning stated that lowering the standard of care could result in complicated lower standards that would imply, for example, that an inexperienced doctor should also owe a lower duty of care if a patient was aware of that inexperience, such as with student or trainee doctors. He stated that it is essential to uphold an objective standard of care for negligence cases and therefore in this case the defendant would be compared to an ordinary competent driver and accordingly she had breached her duty of care. Lord Salmon dissenting also recognised that the instructor should have some partial responsibility and so Mr Nettleship should take some responsibility for his injuries and therefore in this case contributory negligence was applied at a 50% reduction in damages. This case is important for tort law when addressing negligence, particularly where in a scenario you are dealing with a learner. The principle can be applied to show that learners are held to the same standards of ordinary competent professionals in that area. And it does not just apply to learner drivers, it applies to any learners such as trainee doctors, trainee teachers, apprentices. All of these, for instance, would be held at the standards of their fully qualified role and to their professional standards. This case can also be used when demonstrating the use of contributory negligence in your exam. We know it was successful in this case at 50%. This allows where the claimant has contributed to their own injuries in some way, such as in this case where Mr Nettleship should take some responsibility as he was the instructor and had some control over the situation. And that can lead to a reduction in damages of up to 100%, but we know in this case it was 50%. This case also looked at the defence of Valenti, also known as consent. It was held in this case that it was not applicable and it has also later been decided that Valenti would not be applicable to any road traffic cases under section 148 of the Road Traffic Act 1972 and also confirmed in Pitts and Hunt in 1991.